They have my email. And then coughing. So if nothing is coming to an end, somebody could have went through some type of loss. Or something is just coming to an end. Yeah, imprisonment is here. Wow. So somebody is stuck. Like they could be in this self-made type of imprisonment state. Somebody could be going through some type of court situation. They could be going through a jail situation. Something is coming to an end. Maybe this is someone who wanted someone to feel like trapped or in prison. And that's coming to an end. Or they're in this energy. Yeah, message of concern. Somebody is concerned. Maybe they're concerned about something coming to a complete end. Like something is laid to rest. Yeah, whoever this false person is. They're concerned. They could have did something to have someone like in prison or trapped. Or they wanted them to feel stuck. You know, in life. And now they're concerned because it came to a complete end. And this person could be being seen as a false person. Like a lot of people could be looking at that person like, wait a minute. Oh my God, this is a false person. Bad health is here. Somebody is in bad health. Whoever this false person is, they're sick. Yeah, great fortune in the reverse. So yeah, this person have lost a lot. Like whatever they had, they lost it. Um, if this is someone who did not want someone else to gain great fortune or have anything out of life, build anything for their self, have long-term success, they're not having it. And they're sick. House. And adjudication. Wow. So somebody could be at home just under judgment. Maybe they did something to somebody else, like some, some type of um, bad energy to someone's house. And they wanted that person to be sick, like in bad health, you know, look like someone that's sick. And it did not work. It's like that person is under judgment, whatever they, the energy that they were putting out, they're sitting in that energy. They're stuck in that energy. Yeah. And this is their judgment. This is their karma. Somebody could have lost with the great fortune in the reverse and house being there. They could have lost a home. Yeah. And this is some type of karma for something that they did. Because somebody did something like fraudulent. Somebody did something um, negative. The false person isn't just someone that's wearing a mask. Like they do fraudulent things. They, they do different stuff to like cover people's eyes. They spread lies. And um, they make up false receipts. And they could have did this to try to trap somebody, like have them stuck making up false receipts. They could have lied on someone, sent a lot of negativity to them. And now they're under judgment, dealing with whatever they wanted that person to go through. But, you know, 10 times worse. You have King of Wands, Nine of Pentacles and Nine of Cups. Yeah. Whoever this King of Wands is, this is someone that's taking action towards something. It's like they're, they're visualizing or glaring at something that they want to go towards. This person is very focused on whatever it is that they want to go towards. And this could just be moving forward in life. You know, they're taking action. They're, they're seeing the bigger picture in a situation that took place. And if this person was challenged, they're overcoming some type of challenges. And, it, you know, sometimes you don't have to go through things, challenges. You can see other people go through challenges and you can learn from their mistakes. And that's just how life is set up. Nine of Pentacles is here. Nine of Cups. So, yeah, somebody is focusing on self-sufficiency. Maybe they're watching a single person. This could be you. You could be someone that's single, you know independent self-sufficient you're focusing on yourself you're building on um whatever you want to have for a long-term success for your future and um you're just minding your business you're someone that's also celibate and um you could be keeping yourself to yourself you know you're someone that's very aware you can read energy and you're this nine of cups energy you're happy 
you're emotionally fulfilled. This is someone that you make happy and they, you know, they're come like want to take action towards you. This person is very passionate about coming towards you. You're this person's wish fulfillment. Seven of Pentacles. It's like they've been thinking about this for a long time. This person could want to invest with something or in, invest in something with you. Yeah, two of cups. They want to invest in a partnership with you. This person sees you as their true two of cups. You have the Empress, King of Pentacles, the Sun card is here, and Six of Swords. Yeah. It's like this person is visualizing, you know, partnering up with you, being in a relationship with you, a commitment with you, um, working with you. And this person also wants to have a child with you. You have the Empress, King of Pentacles, the Sun card, and then Six of Swords. This is someone that is definitely moving forward. They're changing their direction. And they could be, you know, leaving behind or selling away some type of, um, from some type of baggage or some type of challenges that they were facing or they were witnessing around them and they want to sell away to calmer waters. King, yeah, the emperor. So yeah, this person definitely, they see you as their true two of cups. Eight of Pentacles in the reverse. So as I'm thinking to myself, now who is this main male? This main male is someone who did something and it did not work. This is someone who um, didn't know they were working without getting anything in return. So they were working without rewards. And they were working hard on something. They didn't know the outcome. They didn't know the outcome would be judgment, consequences. And um, this is someone who does not want to work. So they, they you know work on the opposite of what they should be working on. And whatever that is that they shouldn't be working on, it never works out. They didn't gain anything out of it. Yeah, Page of Pentacles. Yeah. And it's like that person is watching you. and They see whatever they did. It didn't work. They could have been watching you because they didn't want that person to come towards you and work with you or partner up with you. So they were trying to do something to, you know, make you be seen as a false person. They wanted you to be in bad health. They wanted you to lose everything. This person wanted you to lose a house. This person wanted you to feel stuck in life. This person wanted you to be under judgment, just stuck. And it, it came to a complete end for this person. It's like they're going through whatever they wanted you to go through. I'm so done. Yeah, somebody is definitely in this five of pentacles energy. Like they could literally be in that state of not having anywhere to go. You know, they're worried about finances right now. Um, this person could just feel lost. Somebody could be leaving that person out in the cold. They look at this, this person as someone that's very low vibrational. And um, they're also sick. And it's like they, they're possibly in an energy where they don't have anyone to turn to. Yeah. For whatever they did. That's why you have to be mindful of what you do to other people. Because what you do to someone else and you sit back and you're expecting to watch them go through this. But when it comes back to you, you're expecting for all of these people to help you out of a situation that you put yourself in. And this person did not get that. So whatever they wanted you to go through, this person would not be able, could, can't bear that. This five of pentacles. Yeah. And it's like you're in the six of pentacles energy. Something is definitely being balanced out for you. Because this did not work out the way this person thought it was going to work out. King of Swords. Yeah, somebody is late leaving this person out in the cold. Like, to, So say if this person was um, attached to this King of Wands and they knew that this person wanted to come towards you, but they didn't want that person to come towards you. They're literally in the energy. This person is in this King of Swords energy with them. The same energy that they wanted that person to be in with you. They were creating all of this negativity around you is what they thought. And um, you would feel stuck. You would be concerned. You would be seen as a false person. You would be in bad health. You would be going through all of these challenges while both of these people were watching you. And they were trying to convince that person. See, that's a false person. 
That person is going through all of this and all of that. And this is stuff that this person was trying to send you through. Yeah, and it's like they could have knew that you were this person's true two of cups and that person would be coming towards you. You were this person's equal. Six of Pentacles is here. Now it's like this person is distancing their self from whoever this energy is, leaving them out in the cold and balancing their self out. Yeah, after finding out the truth, Ace of Swords is here. Ace of Cups. This is someone that knew that you were this person's true love. Maybe they knew that this person had some type of emotions for you. Maybe they knew how you felt about that person. And um, they were trying to keep that person distant from you, guarded from you. And they were betrayed. It's like this was the ultimate betrayal. Ten of Swords. Somebody did not know that they would um, be showing their true face, their, shoot, their true nature of who they truly are and it was just all destined to take place the will of fortune they needed to see that they were being betrayed backstabbed by whoever this person is so they can leave this person out in the cold distance their self from this person learn this valuable lesson because if this was a friend a family member or something like that they were only attached to that person because they needed to learn a valuable lesson That's it. And it's not saying that every family member that you're attached to, they're negative, they're karmics, they have to, you have to learn a valuable lesson with them. I'm not saying that, but particular people that just feel like that they you can't branch off from them. They um they don't want you to branch off and do something different. They want to keep you attached to them and um, you know, agreeing with whatever they agree with. Doing what whatever they're doing. Not willing to be happy for you to branch off and be in a you know self-sufficient energy by yourself. In a nine of cups energy by yourself. Not loving and supporting you no matter what. What your decision is. Whatever direction you want to take. You're learning a lesson with that person. To realize this is a false person. This person is a karmic. This is somebody you need to be aware about. Use your discernment. Eight of Cups in the reverse. Yeah. It's like this is someone who did not want this person to walk away. They didn't want this person to change. <laughs> what are you? Yeah, so you have the Eight of Cups in the reverse. Somebody was definitely in an energy where they weren't ready to see someone else change. So they felt like that they would try to... Um, sabotage the person that this person wanted to move forward towards and had a, a you know connection with this person's true love true to a cups this is sad but it's you know people are very toxic temperance is here the person could have knew that um you were this person's twin with this temperance card being here yeah ten of pentacles Yeah, somebody didn't want someone to walk away. It's like they did not want that person to have a Ten of Pentacles. They don't want what's best for that person. This someone is very selfish. They don't want, you know, what's best for the next person because they don't see that, you know, happening to them. It's like they'll watch you work on something, watch you change. But that entire time they're trying to stop you and block you in a sneaky, deceptive way. And you would never know that that person is two-faced. And you would never know that that person is wearing a mask. This is the type of energy that whoever this uh, king of wands, this emperor, was attached to. And they possibly did not see it for a long time. They were too busy blinded from the truth. Queen of wands. And then eight of wands. So yeah, it's like this person is getting ready to come towards you. Maybe this person was, you know, watching you, focusing on you, and they've made some type of, you know, swift change. You know, this person was able to change, make a decision quick of what they wanted out of life. And that person did not want to see that. They didn't want to see that person to see you for who you truly are, you know, a leader. Someone that is very strong. You have a lot of courage. 
you're someone that um you're very focused. So it's like they seen that you were focused. They want to throw you off focus. Try to have you stuck. They want you to go through bad health. They want you to lose everything. Something will come to an end for you and they will be able to hold on to that person. This didn't work. They're under judgment. Somebody is dealing with whatever they wanted you to go through but 10 times over. And they did not expect this. Now they feel all alone. Now they feel like they don't have anyone. They're worried. Because this is someone who that they have drained their self. Trying to drain you. Yeah, justice in the reverse. This is someone who did something that was injustice to you. Queen of Pentacles. They did not want something to be balanced out. And then Page of Pentacles. This is somebody that could have did something injustice to a, you know, hard working parent. This could be a single parent. You could be a single parent. You could be a mother. You could be a father. And they did something that was injustice to you and your child or you and your kids. Because they wanted to knock you off focus. So they tried to like, you know, they want you to hit rock bottom. They want to hit you where it hurt. But it's like whatever this betrayal was that, you know, happened to you, they didn't expect for you to be walking away from that. Somebody thought that this would pin you down and have you trapped. Yeah, you're someone that's very nurturing, very caring, very generous. You're a good person. And somebody definitely wanted you to not only look bad, but they wanted you to hit rock bottom, like take a fall. Especially if somebody held you in high honor. You know, this person that's your true, two true fucks. High priestess. Yeah, it's like this person has been trying to hide whatever it is that they had did. Yeah. The death, death to rebirth. You know, it was hidden that you would go through a major transformation with the high priestess and then death to rebirth. You're someone that's very intuitive. You could be this high priestess. You could have knew some hidden knowledge about this person and they were wishing ill will on you. They didn't want that person to come towards you. Because this was personal. You could have knew some hidden knowledge about that person or you were able to find out because you're this high priestess. You're spiritually gifted. And they wanted to put an end to that. Yeah, the world. And then Page of Pentacles. So this is something that definitely ended out. You have the world, death to rebirth. You've went through a transformation. That person completed a cycle out. That they didn't even know that they were in because they weren't paying attention to it. They were just focused on moving forward and coming towards you. Didn't know they had all of these obstacles around them. Now they want to apologize for something. Or they want to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with you. Whoever this emperor is. Yeah, the hair font. Somebody's realizing that they, you know, were around people that they cannot trust. Disloyalty. The star. Yeah, and they needed to heal. Somebody definitely needed to go through an awakening. And it's like typically when you, you know, this is your twin, your true two of cups. You, This person could make you mirror different things that you need to change. You can make that person mirror different things that they need to change. And it's like somebody did not want that person to see that. This is why this person was so focused on you. They did not want this person to believe that you were their true two of cups, you were their twin or their soulmate, their divine counterpart. Yeah, they don't want this person to move forward. You have the eight of cups in the reverse, the cherry in the reverse. Somebody did not want someone to have control of their life, like have any willpower, any strength, any courage. 
they didn't want that person to have control of the of the direction that they you know wanted to take or they were supposed to take in life and it's like now that person don't have any control yeah this is someone that they did this out of envy out of jealousy like this was personal yeah <laughs> so dumb. I'm so that you least expect. You would least expect. Three of Wands is here. Yeah. And it's like whatever they did out of envy and jealousy, it made this person, you know, somebody make a final decision. Now they have a lot of foresight of why different stuff took place that they weren't paying attention to. And it's like they seen you were this person's main focus, this person's wish fulfillment. Let me knock this person off their chariot. Carry it in the reverse. Out of jealousy. This is sad. Out of envy. Greed. Competition. Different things like that. This was definitely something personal. Personal issues that this person had, you know, rooted within their self. And they were trying to project it off on the, to that person. This is somebody that's envious and jealous of you. Whether it's a man or a woman, nine of swords is here. Yeah, and this person is stressed out. It's like they're going through a lot of anxiety, depression, fear. This was their worst nightmare. They're being exposed. This person is hiding trauma that they went through and they're keeping their self in despair. Trying to project all of that onto other people to keep them going through obstacles. And it makes this person, it uplifts this person and gives this person some type of energy. I'm so dumb. <laughs> People is something serious. Yeah. And it's like they're under judgment. They're only receiving karma. Somebody could be begging for mercy. Yeah. What is it? And so you have the world. Then Tempers is here. So, yeah, that person is stressed out. You know, they're going through a lot of um, a lot of challenges within their, their self that they have to face. You know, different con consequences that they did not know that they would have to go through for whatever they did. Yeah. Now, they're it's like they're wrapped up under judgment while someone else is completing a cycle out and they're more grounded and balanced out. Temperance in the world, and then the chariot is here. Somebody is definitely on the chariot. It's like somebody thought that they had some type of control of someone's movement, their progress, you know, how they took action, different things like that. The direction, you know, of their life, where it would lead. Somebody has control. It's like they're standing up, taking control of their own life. And somebody has realized they just needed to gain some type of strength and courage to get on the chariot. It's like nine times out of ten, you're not, you know, thinking that someone that you've been knowing for a long time or you're close to is someone that does not want you to change. You would think that that person want what's best for you. You're not thinking that that person is someone who, you know, desperately wants to have control of your life because they don't have control of theirs. And they want to project whatever it is that they're dealing with, their worst fears, their worst nightmares onto you. Yeah, five of swords is here again. What is it? You okay? I have. Okay, baby. Hey, you have the five of swords again. Somebody was definitely trying to bully somebody. It's like they were trying to disagree with this person out of envy and jealousy with whatever this person wanted to do. Somebody have definitely defeated their self trying to win at all costs to sabotage someone else. This is sad. The magician. And then four wands. Yeah. And it's like whatever they're doing or whatever they did, it has someone determined. Like determination is here. Someone is very determined to um, take action towards something. After gaining some type of clarity, self-confidence, you know, this person, you know, they took their power back from whoever this energy is. And they're in the energy where they want to celebrate for a while. They want to come in union with you. 
Yeah, this person wants harmony. They definitely want something to be balanced out. Yeah, nine of wands. It's like they went through a lot. This person went through something over and over and over and over and over again. Now that this person has their power back, or they took some type of power back from that person, and they're determined to take action towards something, somebody is nervous. They're stuck in guilt. Wow. Queen of Wands. And then Nine of Cups. Yeah. They're in guilt because <laughs> this is so serious. They're in guilt because this is someone who still view you the same way. Like they see you in this night. They see you as their wish fulfillment. Now they're determined to come, you know, take action towards you or say something to you or something like that. Seven of Wands. Yeah, everything backfired. And then Ten of Cups is here. Everything backfired on um, a group of people. This could have been this, you know, a particular person that they were attached to in their family. Maybe this person's family was trying to create a lot of blockages for this person. But this is someone that definitely do not want anyone to come towards you. Like they see you in this Nine of Cups energy. They want to come towards you in this Ace of Cups energy after finding out the truth. Ace of Swords and then Ace of Cups. And they don't want anyone else to come towards you. They want the Ten of Cups with you. Queen of Swords. And then the Devil. Wow. This is much. It's like, if this was a family dynamic, it was multiple people trying to create blockages for that person. So they could have a Queen of Swords around them. This is someone that's very bitter, very cold-hearted as it pops out with the devil. And this is a karmic attachment. This could be a mother. This could be a father. This could be a sibling. This could be, um, you know, a cousin or a close family member to this person. This is sad. This person had a lot of people, like with this Ten of Cups energy, trying to create blockages for them. They wanted this person to stay guarded. You know, they wanted this person to think, like, this could be you in this Queen of Swords energy. You could have spoke the truth about something. You're very clear-minded, level-headed. You're able to discern different things. You can read energy. They wanted that person to think that you were someone that was the devil. Stay away from that person. Now this person is somebody that is, you know, they don't even want to be around their family anymore. Ten of Cups, Seven of uh, Wands. They look at these people as blockages. Whoever these people are that they were close to. These are people that were trying to block this person off from having divine love. See, they're attached to this person in, this, in the physical. They know that you are this person's uh, true to a cup. You have a spiritual connection with that person and you and this person have a deep bond spiritually. They didn't want it to manifest physically, so they fought hard. Seven of Wands. Try to keep that person blocked off from you. Stay guarded. That person, <laughs> that person is the devil. An entire time this person is in a toxic karmic cycle and they did not know. Something that needed to be closed. I'm so done. <laughs> yeah, but it's like this person, this king of wands is here again. They, they're getting ready to communicate with you or these people just made this person make some type of swift change quick. A quick decision with the actions that they were taking. The way that they were trying to make that person see you in a negative light. They made their self be see for, seen for who they truly are. That's it. Yeah. Ace of Swords on the bottom of the deck. Whatever was hidden with the moon, it came out. It's like they were just keeping this a secret that this, this all steamed out of envy, hatred, jealousy. Not wanting to see that person happy. Not wanting that person to move forward. Not wanting that person to have control or willpower. Of the direction that they want to take. And they were trying to win at all costs to try to sabotage that person. Sabotage the connection before it even started. Yeah. Eight of Swords. Yeah, they definitely somebody definitely got caught. And then the lovers is here.
and then high priestess. These could have been two different people that were trying to bind you and this person, like separate you and this person, keep you and this person. Somebody could have you know, tried to bind that person to try to keep that person away from you. Like they were playing some type of spiritual manipulation and games over that person to keep them stuck. These are people that thought that they could just, you know, have some snatch somebody out of a spiritual connection and they're under judgment. I'm so done. This is sad. Yeah, five of cups is here. These are people that don't even believe in God. You have the hair fight and five of cups. They don't, these are non-believers, but these could be people that are very religious and they hide behind that. But in reality, they're in their five of cups, stuck in regret for not believing in God. These are people that trip over cups and play with stuff they know nothing about. And they're ashamed of whatever it is that they do. So this is why they hide behind this hair fire energy. They try to use that. Not saying all people are like that, but a lot of people are like that. You just will least expect. Ace of Pentacles is here. And then Four of Pentacles is here. And then Page of Cups, yeah. It's like whoever this person is, no matter what took place, whatever, you know, challenges that they went through, whatever these people were doing to create blockages, trials, tribulations, obstacles, tornadoes, and battles for you, so that person wouldn't, you know, want to come towards you. This person has been holding on to you for a pentacles and they want to come towards you and start a new venture, Ace of Pentacles. This person has been secretly admiring you throughout this entire time. Page of Cups. And it's like they just didn't have any strength or courage because of the energy that they were around that was draining them, draining their strength, draining their, their self-confidence, their courage. So it kept them in the Page of Cups emotionally immature, you know, not being able to express their self properly. Feeling insecure, you know, dis disappointed in their self. And if these were creative blocks, whatever this person wanted to create or take action toward, they were blocked off. This is sad. Ten of Wands is here. And then the fool card is here. Yeah, all of this weighed this person down to want to go towards a whole nother direction. Yeah. Because it's like while all of this was taking place and this person was just admiring you, focused on you, wanting to come towards you, you move forward. Now this person is in an energy where they, you know, they want to come towards you because they see that you're moving forward. Or you went towards a whole nother direction. person could want to apologize about something maybe you spoke the truth to this person about something trying to help this person or get this person to see something and they didn't believe you it's because they're attached to a lot of people that hide behind you know certain um belief systems so if you're someone that reads tarot you're very intuitive you're this high priestess they want them to think that you were the devil And it's like these could have been people that wanted that person to think everybody that reads tarot is the devil. So that means that everybody that reads a book, they're the devil. Every teacher is the devil. People that you run through throughout life is the devil. And they're not devils. They're not toxic. This is what this person, um, the people that were around this person wanted them to think about you. Just like everybody that you run across in life are not negative. Any, every teacher is not negative. Every teacher does not teach kids. It's like any anybody in life, you know, another example. Every nurse is not, um, you know, a good nurse. There's good nurses. There, there are, you know, are bad nurses. There's good people that read tarot. There's negative people that read tarot. Some people choose to use their gifts in a positive way. Other people choose to use their gifts in a negative way. But they wanted this person to see you as the devil. Because you were able to discern that they were in a toxic karmic cycle that needed to close out. 
this could mean that this person was in regret for, you know, staying in some type of belief system for a long time and it was keeping them stuck. Ten of Pentacles is here. Ten of Pentacles is here. And then the star card is here. Yeah, you're definitely someone that's walking in your purpose. You're someone that um you're teaching people about spirituality. You've you're you've become spiritually aligned, spiritually awakened. You went through a lot of challenges, but you chose to heal. You didn't choose to protect negative energy that you went through or negative um challenges that you went through off onto anyone else. And this is why you're, you know, gaining some type of Ten of Pentacles or you're building long-term success. Seven of Pentacles is here. It's all, it all depends on what you invest in. A lot of people are reaping whatever they have sown. And they're realizing whatever they were doing for a long time, they didn't get anything out of it, but they're going to learn a valuable lesson because they're stuck under judgment. These are people that were invested in things that they shouldn't have been invested in, worrying about things that they shouldn't have been worried about. Five of Wands is here. Yeah, out of jealousy. They invested, these are people that invested a lot of time into trying to send conflict, chaos, secretly one-up you, or just sitting back being jealous of you, jealous of your gifts. You use your gifts in a positive way and they, they're not gifted. They don't have any gifts. I'm so done. Yeah, these are people that definitely rejected God. Four of Cups is here a long time ago. And this is why they like to create a lot of confusion. Seven of Cups is here. Because they are in an illusion. They are confused. These are people that are searching for their purpose. Page of Swords. And then Six of Cups. Yeah. It's like these are people that were only watching you. Because they were trying to create a whole bunch of confusion in the past. Seven of Cups is here. Now they're stressed out. Nothing worked. They created a whole bunch of chaos and conflict for their self. Page of Wands is here. Why they watched you inspire yourself. These are people that need a lot of people around them. They don't want people to move forward because they like to drain different people energy. Suck them dry. I'm so dumb. Four of Swords. And then Tower. Two of Cups. Yeah, it's like somebody ended up, definitely ended up isolating their self. Like they, they could have, you know, needed a lot of rest or they got caught up in some type of situation where they were forced to isolate. Nine times out of ten, where you have a purpose, God will remove everyone from around you and they will have you, God will have you in this four swords energy. Having that time to recover, get more enlightened, meditate, relax, so you can renew yourself. Yeah, somebody was definitely in the energy where they needed to relax, meditate, go within to an, um, investigate a situation. Or just recover from everything that they have found the truth about. Found out the truth about. Somebody was placed in solitude. And they went through an awakening. It's like this person gained some type of sudden insight when they chose to lay something to rest or just keep their distance. Wow. So you have the two of cups and injustice. So yeah. It's made this person realize that you're their two of cups. After gaining this clarity, finding out the truth, and um, they're realizing, like, this is like cause and effect. So they're realizing why certain things took place around them. 
the effect of certain things that took place. A lot of stuff coming out, tower moments, disasters. People are dealing with an overflow of bad choices. Things that they needed to release. Yeah. Going through some type of revelation and it helped them gain this sudden insight. Now they want something to be balanced out with you. Justice is here. Yeah, after finding out, you know, gaining the truth. Yeah, a lot of people are in the energy where they're going through this five of pentacles, like they're being left out in the cold. This person look at these people as people that are very low vibrational. They don't have any, you know, meaning. They're just lost. It's like they wanted that person to be in this isolation energy. Constantly going through things, constantly worried, you know, feeling insecure. Constantly going through financial losses. And having a confused mindset. Yeah. Six of Wands in the reverse. Yeah. Yeah. Whoever these people are, they do not even respect anymore. Like if they have respect for these people, whether these were family members, friends, they don't have respect for these people anymore. They look at these people as very low vibrational. Wow. I'm so done. King of Pentacles and Two of Pentacles. This person is focusing on their self with this lead. You know, they're they're leading their own life. And they're focusing on what they want for, you know, their future. Balancing things out for their self. Because, you know, as, as these are adults, nine times out of ten, these are adults. They don't want that for that person because they don't, you know, want to change for their self. So it's like they're, they're used to being in that same energy. They're comfortable there. And it's like they're no longer respecting these people. Now they're just focusing on them. Wanting something to be balanced out for them. Because they took the time to go through whatever this is that they went through. But they've overcame that. You know, finding out the truth, gaining clarity. And they see the cause and effect. 